because I gotta tell you guys a quick word from today's sponsor, Wizza. Guys, Wizza's back. I'm interrupting today's video to say thank you to our sponsor, Wizza. I just wanna take this time to go over today's sponsor, Wizza. This is one of the coolest partnerships we've ever had on the channel, so I partnered up with Wizza. Yes, Wizza, the new giveaway company that seems to be on all the automotive creators' lips right now. Uh, if you spent any time looking around automotive YouTube, you've probably heard people talk about Wizza or participated in, possibly, one of their many car giveaways, among other items as well. Now, if you've heard of the big Wizza giveaways, uh, the latest one being a Stradman sponsored a Lamborghini Huracan Performante, a car I would love to own myself, by the way. Uh, you've probably also seen a number of videos that level criticism at Wizza and call into question the legitimacy of the fledgling company. And that in turn has led to uh, a plethora of comments talking about the shadiness or the scamminess level of Wizza as a company and telling most creators that are doing these giveaways right now not to do it. But the question remains, are these criticisms valid or have people unfairly villainized a legitimate giveaway company? We're gonna lay out everything that has been discussed online, get to the bottom of some of the finer points of legality, uh, all of that today on Life of Palos. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. Uh, so the reason why we're talking about Wizza as a company today is not to like hammer something negative home about the company itself, but to get to the bottom of why people are discussing this online now and where the truth actually lies as best as we can find it. All right, so most of you guys that watch my channel also watch Stradman's channel. Uh, two videos ago on his channel, he basically did an entire video sponsored by Wizza where he's giving away a 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Uh, it's got some Strad lingo on it. It looks fantastic and it is a crazy car, a value that I think like $330,000. So not chump change at all. Now on that video, there were a number of comments that uh, called into question the legitimacy of Wizza as a company. A lot of people saying sketchy or scammy or, you know, tied up to the Nelk uh, Ferrari F8 video, which we're going to talk about here in a minute. Uh, their giveaway was called into question as well. Uh, and I saw those comments. They were sent to me as well. And a number of people commented on my own videos asking me to look into it. So uh, ever since that video came out, I've actually been spending a lot of my day looking into Wizza as a company and watching a lot of uh, the literature, I guess I'll call it, from other YouTubers that are discussing it in much more depth than we ever have. Now, by the way, guys, it might seem like we're talking a lot about Stradman's video. So uh, the reason why a lot of those comments I, I think were on his channel specifically is because uh, a few weeks earlier, a channel called Filion did an entire video uh, talking about how they thought Wizza was a scam. But Stradman is really just the latest person from the automotive community to do deals or sponsorships with Wizza. Uh, just on Wizza's site alone, we can see some of the people they partnered up with before. Uh, Tanner Fox, TJ Hunt, Jack Ultramotive, Royalty Exotic Cars, uh, Dustin and Williams and Drew Peacock, just to name a few. So I really feel like Stradman got the brunt of the negative comments about Wizza only because his video was positioned in a way that was a couple weeks after Filion's video took off. And after his video went live, Stradman's video we're talking about, CoffeeZilla and some ordinary gamers also did deep dives into Wizza and apparently a sort of a partner sister company, Rubet. So now we're going to talk about why some people have started to criticize Wizza specifically. And I would say that probably probably like 75 to 80% of the criticism that I see online about Wizza revolves around one of their giveaways that they did with the Nelk Boys. So for those of you who don't know who the Nelk Boys are, uh, massive creators on YouTube and beyond, and their big giveaway, their big car giveaway of this year was a Ferrari F8. Now, if you guys know anything about the Ferrari F8, you know it's an extraordinarily expensive brand new Ferrari. So why did people think that the Nelk Boys Ferrari F8 giveaway was a scam or some sort of rigged thing. Oh, by the way, guys, I watched like, I would say three hours plus uh, of specific videos talking about the F8 giveaway. I uh, went into an entire Reddit section who also deep dived into it as well. And I think the entire thing comes down to a few points. Number one, uh, the 
winner of the F8 Tributo uh, was conveniently located just a couple miles away from the Nelk Boys. This is a massive contest, so a lot of people looked at that and like, hey, you know, what are the chances of the winner actually being that close to the Nelk Boys? Number two, uh, a lot of people watched the conversation between the winner and the Nelk Boys and thought that it just seemed very weird or scripted or odd. That seems to be like the second big point that people make about that. Third, and this video went big all over YouTube, uh, the F8 Ferrari that was given away a couple months afterward was spotted just a couple miles away sitting in a parking garage, uh, causing some to think that, hey, was it ever actually given away? And finally, uh, there was a Lamborghini the Nelk Boys tried to give away a couple of years ago, uh, and that spawned a number of questions as well. People didn't know who the winner was, uh, and a lot of people questioned a different company at the time about what happened there in actuality. But, and this is obviously a big but here, a pun totally not intended, the YouTuber, some ordinary gamers, did a 54 minute video diving into whether or not the WZA giveaway was real or not. Now during the course of this video, it is revealed that WZA had communication with some ordinary gamers and provided receipts for every single aspect of proving that the F8 giveaway was actually real. WZA provided a screenshot of certificate of title from the state of California showing the registered owners as being WZA Sweeps LLC. They were able to prove where the Ferrari F8 was bought from and, and get this guys, they literally got a screenshot screenshot uh, with the winner of the FA giveaway outside of the title deed office. Wizza even showed proof that they used an Amazon web service engine to randomly pick the winner. He also mentions, uh, and I would definitely agree with this by the way, that the sweepstakes giveaway industry is extremely and heavily regulated. Basically guys, it would not be easy to uh, pull off something scammy or shady at this level for very long. US law is extraordinarily strict in the giveaway sweepstakes industry. So the big point there at the end of the discussion about the Nelk Boys F8 giveaway is that Wizza provided receipts uh, to pretty much every single aspect of it trying to show that it was real. Now another criticism of Wizza that I saw crop up uh, pretty immediately actually uh, was this particular uh, line in the abbreviated rules section of the Lamborghini Huracan Performante giveaway. It says, no purchase or payment of any kind is necessary to enter or win. Purchase or payment does not improve your chance of winning. Obviously, all the critics out there are like, that's the smoking gun right there. They're showing it in their rules. It's a fake giveaway, all that kind of jazz. Uh, actually, that's not the case whatsoever. That particular verbiage is required by US law uh, so that these giveaway companies are not considered illegal lotteries. We see the exact same verbiage, uh, give or take a word or two, on 8080, for instance. No purchase or payment necessary. A purchase or payment will not increase your chance of winning. That particular verbiage is also a reference that giveaways have to have a free way of entering whatever the giveaway happens to be. It's part of US law. So that particular claim against WZA really falls flat because that exact same verbiage is required on pretty much all giveaway companies anywhere in the US. Moving on to our next point about WZA specifically, and some of the criticisms against it, whether they're valid or not, we're gonna talk about its supposed uh, relationship with a company called Rubet. So we're not gonna make this an entire video about Rubet. Uh, granted, I very easily could, but in a nutshell, here's what Rubet is. Rubet is an online gambling website, uh, highly illegal in the US, uh, tied to cryptocurrency, uh, based in Curacao, which also means it's going to be highly uh, unregulated. Rubet, in a nutshell, is under scrutiny right now uh, because a lot of the big main Twitch streamers and YouTubers that are doing streams or videos about online gambling uh, are doing so according to a number of these YouTubers diving into it, I'm not making this claim, uh, are doing it with house money, with money specifically provided by Rubet. And right now there's a six part series diving into uh, more specifically Rubet, but also doing an entire video on Wizza as well on some ordinary gamers channel and CoffeeZilla. And there's still two parts left to go. So they've been discussing this relationship between Wizza and Rubet and sort of where the money is coming from. Uh, you know, if there's anything sketchy going on, that's a lot of the reason why people are sort of bringing up Rubet 
Ned and Wizza in the same sentence. Whew, okay, so obviously what we just went over, there's a ton of information. I've tried my best to lay everything out. Uh, where does all the information we just talked about leave us? What sort of conclusions are we supposed to draw? All right, so as of right now, uh, no one that I have seen online, even taking into account the large investigations by YouTubers much bigger than me, has been able to provide uh, concrete evidence to show any actual Wizza wrongdoing. There have been some uh, very unlikely coincidences, like the winner of the last big car giveaway from Wizza, the F8 Tributo, uh, being geographically extraordinarily close to where the Nelk boys were. Now it's worth saying that just because uh, there's a big coincidence here doesn't mean that it didn't happen. And as of right now, no one has been able to provide proof showing otherwise. And that's pretty much where we are, guys. Uh, we tried our best to sort of summarize all, all the main contentions against Wizza and provide the arguments against those contentions uh, the best we could. Obviously, a lot of information out there. Uh, we're doing our best to bring you everything we possibly can, lay it out in front of you, let you make your own decisions. Uh, that's what we've always done. If any new information about Wizza comes out anytime in the near future, we will make sure to let you know. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to sub if you love automotive and supercar community news, and we'll see you next time. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. I'm out.